Hi, we're back, and if you've been following these videos, um, you know that uh, when we left off, we had collected a set of master LR and GB frames. Um, so we now have all of our master frames, and the next thing I'm going to do is run a script called Muir Denoise. So under Script, Noise Reduction, there's a script called Muir Denoise. Now, it asks for this information from your from your camera this is the gain of your camera and the read noise now if you don't have that information you can come up to script noise reduction and there's this Muir denoise detector settings you click on that and you need two flats and two biases or two flats and two darks so um, I have opened up two flats and two biases and you click in here and populate it with your two flats and your two bias image images and then click estimate and it will go through and read those do its magic and you'll end up with 1.433 and 6.94 so write those down um, as I have done and you dismiss that so then I'm going to bring up my luminance and I am going to hold down the Alt key and then click N as in Nancy and I'm going to draw a preview and then I'm going to look at the preview and especially here in the darker areas you can kind of see the noise. So I'm going to come up here to script noise reduction your denoise and uh, I've populated this with the gain and the Gaussian noise that we just calculated for this camera and I set the variance to 1.2 and the cycle spin count to 8 and then you click denoise and it's going to run through and work on just the preview so you do that because this script does take you know three to five minutes to run so if you run it on a preview it runs pretty quickly and you can see your results now you have to click out of here and dismiss the script and don't worry it'll remember all of your settings and you come up here to the uh, preview um, button it's the undo preview and you click and you can see that it's doing the noise now I purposely did this a little too much this is a little bit more than I would want to do it's starting to get kind of that modeling effect that you get from noise reduction so I'm gonna open the script back up and I'm gonna change this to about 0.8 and you're just gonna have to play with this uh, there's no like really right answer it depends on your camera and, and your picture and a lot of other things so um, I've found out usually in image processing is there's no one right answer there are some obvious wrong answers but there's very rarely uh, one right answer for a lot of things so then you click denoise again when you set that down to point eight and run through it and uh, this one's going to work a little bit better. Again, you can see that this runs fairly quickly when you're working on the preview. Okay, and I dismiss this, and I think this does a pretty good job uh, without, you know, being overdone. So once you've got the settings you like, you click back to the image, the full image, and you bring the script back up and you run it now I'm gonna pause here because this uh, this scripts gonna take a little while to run on the full image so I'll pause here and be right back okay so we're back and that has finished and I'll dismiss the script and that took what 161 seconds so just shot three minutes uh, to run and if you zoom in here and do the before and the after. Hopefully that's showing up. You did a pretty good job of 
improving the noise for your luminance. Um, I then, it's up to you what you do with the preview. I tend to delete it when I'm done with it. Um, then the next thing I'm going to do is look at my RGBs. Now, sometimes I think if you use one by one binning on all of your images, you might be able to just use the same setting on all of them. But this one was captured two by two and then upsampled to one by one, so um, I don't think that the noise characteristics are similar to the luminance. So again, I'm going to make a preview, hold down the Alt key and click and hold. Oops, I'm sorry, what did I do? I'm sorry, Alt and then click the N key, as in Nancy. Then click and hold and draw a box and you get your preview. Come over here to the preview, zoomed in and bring the script back up and um, you can do denoise at the setting that you use for your luminance. I'll do it real quickly um, because I happen to know that it's probably not going to be strong enough but um, just to show you this is going to run pretty quick it did do a you know there's a before and an after. I don't know if this is coming through. It's pretty subtle. So I think this one can handle a little bit more. So I'm going to bring the script back up. And I'm going to make... Oh, that's the wrong one. Noise reduction. This one. And I'm going to set this to about 1.2. And then I'm going to run denoise again. Okay, and then if you look at this, um, hopefully that's coming through. Did a much better job. So, um, you know, you can make a decision. I'm going to leave it there now because we'll be running a little bit more noise reduction on this. But I'll leave it there for now. And again, come back to the main. Uh, come back to the main picture here. Make sure it's highlighted, go back to the script, bring it up. Again, we're working on the blue image now, and click Denoise. So you do this for the blue, the green, and then the red, and I'm going to let this run. I'm going to do all three images, and then um, I'll be back. Okay, so we're finished. Uh, I've run the Muir Denoise on all of the frames now, the blue, green, and red, as well as the luminance. Uh, again, whatever you want to do with the preview, I tend to delete it when I'm done. And that's pretty much um, how I run the Muir Denoise on my master LRGNB. Uh, again, the script up here is under noise reduction. Um, Muir Denoise runs the script. You need to know the gain and the read noise of your camera if you don't know the those values you can use this script Muir denoise detector settings and it's going to ask for two flat frames and two bias frames or two dark frames um, you run that and it'll estimate those values for your camera i'm going to stop here and when we come back we're going to attack the luminance image uh, we're going to do some uh, deconvolution and um, do the nonlinear stretching with the histogram transfer function. So, thank you. I hope you found this useful. If you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.